This is a free sample of the book, The Road to Wrinkled Bed Sheets by Cairo Copeland. The first half of this book is posted right here on YouTube, free for everyone to listen to. If you like this content and want to hear or read the rest or want to listen to it free of ads, visit reinventideal.com slash bedsheets. The book is available on Kindle, paperback, and Audible at reinventideal.com slash bedsheets. Chapter 2. The number one thing that gets you laid. The number one thing you need to do on your end to make this quest of getting laid successful is to work more volume. The most important element of your system is to try to close with as many women as possible. There are far too many mitigating factors and contextual variables in a woman's life that get in the way of your pursuit of sex with them. These things make it impossible to succeed while focusing on just one or even a few women. The average guy is a complete simp that relies solely on one woman to be his source of female intimacy in his life. This is a huge mistake. What typically happens is he gets a date with her, spends a ton of money to impress her, which is then followed by more dates and more money until he wins enough of her favor to take things to sex. During this, she is the only one he considers. He does this because social imperatives and his blue pill conditioning dictate to him that he must give his full attention to this one woman. He'd really like to try things out with others, but he doesn't act on those desires, partially because he still fears rejection, but also because there are social imperatives that shame males for wanting more sex than one woman is willing to offer. Media depictions of such a guy are often unfavorable, such as Glenn Quagmire from Family Guy, or they are given the derogatory name Players. So most often, it is the guy that initiates the exclusivity talk. He may start out asking about it with the question, where do we stand? This is always a mistake because it puts you in her frame instead of her being in yours. She will pick up on you being in her frame and assume you are the submissive male, a simp. This guy will get jealous easily and cause her attraction to decrease over time. His neediness and constant reliance on her for attention, approval, and bedroom satisfaction drive her away. Statistically speaking, women are often the ones that end relationships. The guys are left very distraught about the union's demise and try desperately to get back with her. They may message her a million times and blow up her phone, possibly even become a stalker. But after being told to fuck off in the harshest possible terms, he moves on, but in a downward spiral to depression. It could last for weeks or even months until he meets a new woman and starts this cycle all over again. This is the dreaded disease of one-itis, and it is responsible for more male misery than anything else. When you focus solely on one woman, all your hopes and desires rest entirely on her. If it doesn't work out, as statistics suggest, you are set up for a terrible fall. In the case of one-itis, a guy will put so much effort and work into attaining her, and once she's gone, he sees nothing but a lost investment from which he will recover nothing. Not just emotions that can be restored, but also time is lost which can never be replaced. Thus, working one woman at a time is extremely inefficient. Further, she can sense your desperation, or at least your eagerness for her to accept you, and is repelled by it. Adhering to blue pill conditioning Many guys continue to do this despite looking back at their lives only to see a long line of failed relationships that follow this cycle. Some do this even knowing that they are making themselves vulnerable to future pain. Their yearnings to attain a particular outcome is precisely what drives that outcome away. The correct course of action is to have and display outcome indifference. Many dating coaches and pickup artists prescribe outcome indifference for their frustrated male students and clients, but they never really say how to get it, and that's because the answer is socially unacceptable. Date non-exclusively. Some call it building a rotation. Others call it spinning plates. I call it a book of beauty, which is like a salesman's book of business. Once you have more than one net cast out to bring in a catch, you find yourself less clingy to the outcome of each cast than you would be had you only sent out one. 
Even better, all the nervousness and jitters for the first date disappear. The natural worry that accompanies you during a promising first date is reduced when you have another one planned the next day, or even later the same day. Volume is what matters the most. If you set up 30 dates with 30 different women, you are invincible. That way, if some flake, so what? If some don't like you, so what? If there are some you don't like, so what? You're still likely to have a few that you really connected with. Options. Having options and working the volume to create those options is what gives you the confidence to play to win instead of playing not to lose. The purpose of this is not to be a player with a long list for a lay count. The reason for doing this is so you won't be distraught or deeply hurt when women pull some bullshit on you like flaking, friend zoning, and ghosting. That kind of bullshit can really kill your confidence when you care too much and one woman being your only option will make you care too much. When there are many potential partners, one woman barely matters enough to crush your confidence. Finally, this is also a time management matter. You don't have the time to spend months pursuing one woman while risking the possibility of getting nowhere with her. Women are not scarce. Your time is. Meet many women. Ask for first dates. Have many. Keep meeting and asking, even after scheduling some. Thank you for listening to this free sample of the book, The Road to Wrinkled Bed Sheets by Cairo Copeland. If you enjoyed it and want to hear or read the rest, or want to listen to it free of ads, visit reinventideal.com slash bedsheets. The book is available on Kindle, paperback, and Audible at reinventideal.com slash bedsheets.